And we are back, guys. It is time for Mission 3 of Space Shuttle Project. Retrieve and repair a satellite. Perhaps it is the same satellite that we just retrie that we just put into space. Also, this time we need an extra an extra extra team member. But they have given us way more time than we need this time. Also, these things are really fucking fast, and you cannot possibly make it by when they're on the left side anymore. You have to wait until I go until I start going to the right. Anyone got any guesses as to what our new crewmate is? I won't spoil it until he gets here, just so you can keep guessing. Ow. Also, in later levels, hitting one of those things even once pretty much totally fucks you over. I forget what happens if you lose in this section. We got our mission specialist. Now we need to grab our payload specialist. And one more this time. I really have no idea why you can't move the elevator down until they're in the door. And if anyone guessed, in, uh, scientist, you are correct. Way to go. Oh, there's another one. Fuck. I forgot. Also, if anyone guessed, engineer, you were also indirectly correct. And as you can see, we had just barely enough time to do this. And here we are again, in stage two. Once again, with something new that is not at all mentioned in this description. And in fact, is actually our first step, which is really odd that they don't mention it. You know, I gotta admit, there's really oddly clear voices for a Nintendo game, isn't it? Anyways, what's the new step, you might ask? It is totally fucking pointless, that's what it is. I'm not even 100% sure you're gonna be able to tell what I'm doing. See the little white dot there? I am moving it along this tracking thing. As far as I can tell, the only purpose of this is to waste your time. Because it is very slow. I have yet to ever actually have it fail. So I'm not even 100% sure you can fail at it. As long as you keep holding to the right and hit up or down if necessary, you seem to succeed. And then you just go right back into everything that was in the last stage. Oh, and this. This is new. The object is to move the arrow through the gap without touching the sides. And while you can do it while it's moving quickly, it is really damn hard and not worth it since there is no actual hard time limit on this. One more should do it. Yeah. Like I said, they took the idea of challenge and just basically made it make each stage marginally longer so you feel less like playing it as you continue. So someone didn't quite understand what they were doing. Okay, we got alternating start from the right. And I fucked it up. Way to go, me! Oh well. I have a very bad short-term memory, as you can see. This is why I'm save-stating at the beginning of each stage. If I totally, totally fuck it up and lose all my lives, I don't want to have to go through the password bullshit. That probably won't happen, though. There's two Valve stages in, stages in each section, so I should be able to keep my lives up decently. As long as I pay better attention. And we are pretty much done with getting into space now. Just our OMS burns, and then we're set. And there we go. Space has been reached. This kind of gives me an idea for another LP. 
or OGT, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe I will try that out if I can get it to work. I'm going to keep it secret for now, though, just in case it doesn't work. And now, we need to get the satellite and bring it back to the orbiter. That is not the satellite. These rocks are also not the satellite, just in case you didn't realize. The rocks, however, can totally mash your across the universe. But, hey, I avoided it this time. Getting it in there also gives us a nice refill of oxygen. I'm guessing that's just in case you totally got pegged by a meteor. And we throw it back into orbit. And now we have to get back to the orbiter. And that's that. Yeah, this mission is really easy. Getting hit by the rocks does not kill you, and this is the only level that does not ha that you do not die from contact with something flying around in space. It knocks you up to the far left corner, which is obnoxious and can lead to your death. I think it's the opposite of the other pattern. I won't fuck it up this time. There we go. There is no tracking in this part that I recall, so this is all actually... Oh, right. This did get here. And from this point on, I don't think this part changes again at any point. I think we have seen all we're going to see for this. And for the actual entry, too, I believe. I could be wrong, it's been a little while, but... We are only halfway through the game, and you've basically seen everything the game has to offer. Kinda sad, isn't it? Ooh, getting a little on the slow side here. I'm actually kinda sad that I didn't change things for when you screw up, because it would be... You might put more value into it if you knew your shuttle was going to explode if you screwed something up. But, when you know nothing bad is going to happen to you, there's not really a whole lot of incentive to be very good at the game. Aside from not having to deal with the stupid password feature. And to those of you who might be a little disappointed that we went with something so incredibly dull this time, in the world of obscure games, you're going to run into a lot of crap. I try and filter some of it out, but sometimes I just got to show you guys the kind of stuff I end up looking at to see what I can find for you. This is one of those times. Also, it is sort of a guilty pleasure in that I kind of like this game. I have no idea why, but there is just some part of me that enjoys it, despite the fact that it is so bad. But we are almost done with yet another mission. Because we are the best astronauts ever. Am I right? Yeah. I'm also the best firefighter ever, if you recall. The firefighting training has really helped me out with these missions. <laughs> Ooh, almost missed that. And... Victory, victory, victory. Once again. I am so excited, can you tell? And Barack Obama has hailed our crew's performance. It wouldn't be Barack, though. This is back in, like, the 80s. So, Reagan! And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Later.